down and welcome back to Iratus. Uh, I'm not sure if the squad is quite ideal because I'm, I kind of have a better grasp of Lost Soul. Also, Lost Soul is missing a little bit of HP. But I don't really have a damage dealer in this squad for the Lich to buff. And the Lich is going to be super useless that way. So maybe the Banshee is not going to be in it. And we're going to put in someone else who's, who's going to do some damage. And these are not it. We need a damage dealer. <laughs> the zombies are praying for the mana god. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do like the right, but I don't think that's what we need for this uh, scenario. The the most obvious, obviously, is the Bride of Iratus, but. I don't know. Uh, we need to make one of them smart for this uh, purpose. <laughs> okay, so maybe she's gonna have brain IQ of four. Uh, obviously, we I go for the, the burn. Results. We can go for two armor here. I don't care about. Two evasion. I mean, can we just make her have some armor so she's not completely useless? I don't really care about the chest piercer here. We're not using that. So she's kind of like set up as a two and a three position here. Think of him. Uh, increase the target chance to escape by 10% for two actions. Interrupt stances. I don't know, I just want to uh, improve my armor a little bit, so it's less likely that we die. I, I know that this gives us more HP, but uh, this is just too damn good. Too fucking damn good to pick. Ultimately, we can't really make a tank after the Bride of the uh, Iratus, but, you know, we, we can at least try to not die instantly. This is a pretty easy build, by the way. You just go for... Uh, Flames of passionate love, and you're done. And you're done. You deal a lot of damage. Uh, also, the zombies are pretty good uh, damage dealers as well, so... I mean, shouldn't be discounted. Also, pretty damn tanky, so... I mean, I don't know. The zombies are pretty damn good. But... The bride is a little bit better. Well, when it comes to dealing damage. Let's just get, uh... Regular armor. Now. Prove yourself worthy of my investment. Okay, let's just get armor. I, I know that we can get some damage there, and maybe that would have been the, the choice. Should have been the choice. Anyway, yeah, I was. Uh, that probably should have been the choice. Whatever. She's the let's not die in the second position, uh, Bride of Iratus. Should have a name though. I can't name them. That's a bummer. I know I'm the Dark Lord, but hey, just to <laughs> just to make them easier to differentiate. Hey, you! Or no, no, not you, you, no, you. <laughs> Fuck! You guys should have names. No, not you. You see, names are kind of useful. Yeah, actually, with uh, all remove all buffs and and debuffs from enemies. The Lost Soul allies gain 1 damage until the battle ends for each buff and debuff removed this way. That's kind of nice. The dubious boon seems kind of maybe good. Let's do Panic Wave. Although it was pretty much useless. Before. Because they don't run away. this wretch okay oh uh, yeah I'll just uh, shout at them oh. Oh. <laughs> flames of passionate love the dwarven warrior musketeer the musketeer do deals stupid amounts of damage
Can we just impale him now? Fate within flames. Well, he's not gonna die. This is not good. Right, that's only stress damage. <laughs> not good. Yeah. Well, the musketeer is going to die. I mean, at least that's the good news. Who is the highest damage dealer here? Maybe the berserker? I'll just go for a, a heal. Sudden reality. They don't have any buffs. It's taking a lot of damage. I guess I can wait. Oh, we can only target allies with that? Oh fuck, can you target yourself? That's only ally. So she should really be in the back. I have a different plan for her, but she would need to level up first. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's gonna work. <laughs> There's a decent chance that she's just gonna die now. Oh man. This panic wave is kinda crap. I feel like I'm just uh, doing the enemies a favor. The dwarves are gonna come after this. We gotta kill this guy just to prevent the damage. And I need to buff the bride. That's good. Hit that guy. Perfect. They did nothing. Uh, I can't slide back because the bride is here. At least not yet. I treat the guy. Uh, killing that guy would be nice, but I don't have damage other than the misleading beauty. Southern reality. Dubious boon. Yeah. Goes a little bit back. Toxic cloud creates a toxic cloud that that up uh, target position for two rounds. I don't know. This seems uh, a bit dodgy. I just keep buffing the bride of Iratus. Well, that works, right? <clears throat> Trader. I don't know. Let's just take out the funky boy. Oh, yeah, just buff him, right? Wait. He removed the burn. What a bastard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's, he's actually super tanky now. I just realized. We need to shout to take him out. Oh my god, even that wouldn't work. Fuck me. What did he do? My oh no, that actually pierces the wards. That's very nice. <laughs> the best ability is even better. What the fuck? Um. Yeah, we're not doing a sacrifice. 
can deal random magic damage. Let's do that. Ah, uh, that's not nice. Uh, let's get some mana. This should be fine now. So, the lost soul cannot heal itself. We should be able to take out this guy now. So I'm just gonna go for a heal on the... I don't think the bride needs a heal. Because she needs to have a timeout anyway. I'm just gonna put it on the... On the leech. These two need a timeout, so I'm just gonna Eat use the mana. Oh fuck. Flames. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. There's, there's nothing to do. We need to kill him now. Okay, not too bad. We got some parts. Uh, these two need to heal up for sure. Other two might be fine. Oh, did they heal up a little bit here when they returned? I don't think so. But they only heal if they stay. Uh, let's see what we have access to. We can create... Uh, creating a lost soul would be the best. Of course, uh, we just take these guys out. A mummy is... At least this mummy is built as a position 4. We got these guys. One of them leveled up. Perfect. Uh, but do what? I don't care too much about that. This is actually better. We can get some magic armor. Or... Just some regular attack or initiative. What is this? <clears throat> Yeah, deal 75% damage to uh, the chosen target and the enemy standing behind that. So that's actually the best damage ability he has by far. Uh, Dark Tide combined with Unfeeling Aggression is pretty damn good. Okay, so each buff and debuff ordered on the target and also increases our damage. So if we want to deal regular damage that's that's kind of how you do that so we're going for edge of the abyss and all in all is dust and uh, dark tide could be pretty good way to deal damage and considering that the ultimate is just ridiculous maybe we, you don't need like plus one <laughs> you need just uh, all is dust edge of the abyss and uh, dark cleaning Deal 75% damage to choose the target and whatever. Deal additional damage equal to 25% of some of uh, uh, armor and resistance. I mean, this potentially, this has a higher upside maybe. And deals, deals more damage. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what I would do. If he... If he had a chance to respect this guy, then I would go Edge of the Abyss, All is Dust, and uh, Dark Cleaning. And I don't know how we're gonna round it out, but that's kind of how I do it. But right now, I don't know, maybe we just go with armor. And initiative. We can just make him start on position 3 and just uh, slide him back in. We can just slide him, yeah, yeah, we can just start in the fucking back and start with a big slide. I expect results. Oh my god, but I don't want to take on, take two dark knights. These two definitely need to heal. <clears throat> These might be actually viable to use without the heals. Let's see who needs the XP the most. Whoever levels up, nobody. <laughs> nobody levels up. Anytime soon. Then I guess we should just take uh, level 4s, most of all. Ok, 
Okay, let's just go with that. This just wants to be in the the very back. Mummy. Just spamming the clinging of wraps. It's not that good. Yeah, that's what he does and nothing else. He doesn't need to be position free for that. This is a position four. Uh, this is a position three. So, Lich can boost the Bride of Iratus, and we're missing a position two here. Can it be the Banshee? Maybe it's gotta be the Banshee. Let's see what we can do. I think we need uh, more Lost Souls. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I guess he's gonna pray. But we need more Lost Souls. Uh, and that would actually matter quite a bit. Are we doing the parts? Yeah, there's no point uh, crafting them right now. Let's just keep going. Talents. Yeah, that would be nice. More chance to get artifacts. More chance to increase the chance of receiving a brain at the end of the battle. I mean, that is good if you are really struggling for... Well, if you're just... If your minions are dying all the time. Convert items into mana. Like, I'm not really swimming that much in items. Each time you win an encounter, minions that participate uh, receive an additional experience point. I don't think that's super useful, again. That That is only if you're just really starving for XP point. I'm not so much. Even though my guys die quite a bit. Uh, Brides of Iratus receive 10 luck, 10 evasion, and 10 accuracy. I mean, that's pretty good, but that's only for 3 points and affects 1 unit. Increase the amount of wrath that Iratus gains in battle by 50%. So this is just a super commitment to the Bride of Iratus. Okay. It increases the Vigo recovery rate of minions not in battle by 300%. So the base seems to be 5, and this is gonna up it but to 20. I mean, it's okay, but I think it's a little bit too pricey, because what I wanna do is just upgrade the Mortuary, and I suspect that at one point we're gonna get these two units, and then I can just keep healing the team all the time. At least I can just keep healing like a full team worth of units. So I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. But, let's just head out. Enough dicking around. In our safe uh, base. Time to just uh, kill some fools. The fuck is this? Oh no. We're dealing with a new enemy. Golden Golem. It's a mag- It's a magic golem. That deals not a lot of damage, apparently. But that that is a little bit misleading, I feel like. Impale this wretch. Okay. Sure. Adore him. And the golden gun still deals a fair bit of damage. Oh, it's immune to. Ah, oh, fine, of course. Uh, actually, the Dark Knight should be not here. Should be sliding in. All is dust. I don't really care about the death comes for everyone. That's kind of a crappy move. Yeah. We need more. Can remove buffs from this guy. Dark Knight can keep sliding back. <laughs> uh, very, very brave.
Yeah, we need to trigger Impale the block wretch. of the Dwarven Warrior. Just slide back. I need more rat. I just keep removing the buffs. So this is a uh, burn immune. But the alchemist is clearly not. Oh, we're debuffed. Oh, he threw up a uh, ward. Oh, that's not gonna work. Uh, so I can stun the first two units, or just uh, scream. And everyone deals less damage. Well, let's just stun the first two units. This also lowers the resistance. Seems like that. Uh, you should wait. Flames of passionate love. Okay, let's smack this guy, but we still gotta hit him. He's gonna die next turn. Defending the golem. Sure. I can remove a buff. That actually gives him resistance. Let's do that. What else we have? So they also have even more resistance. Impale this wretch. Can just slide back. We don't have a healer currently. Oh man, I have to wait again. So he's going to die. The dwarven warrior. It's a little bit squishy. Oh no, the banshee. Not cool. Very not cool. Oh my god, the bench is almost dead. I can't heal the banshee. Uh, he can hit the flames. So... Yeah, we need to hit him again. So that kills him. Uh, actually, he should not go for that attack. He can go for a dark cl cleaning and go back. I don't know what to do. Let's go for stuns. Oh, he has ward. This seems so dangerous. It's almost a death. It has anti-magic ward. We can't set it on fire. Physical damage is, is kind of... Kind of works? Impale this wretch! Yeah, I mean, we should use this later. I guess technically if I really giving up... No, no, no. Ward defense against that. Uh, we can slide down. Can we just uh, take him out? They're skipping a turn. Pretty nice. I don't know what to do. The problem with this approach is that the Banshee is just damn vulnerable. It just doesn't work. Clearly because of that. I would like to send the Banshee a little back, Straight so maybe he pain. doesn't die, she doesn't die. I can do Crescendo as well. Uh, we're just gonna wait. I just take out the Dwarfs for now, maybe? No, no, let's take out the Golden Golem. Oh, 
Oh, the dwarf ran away. Oh, snap. We're in trouble. We can pierce the magic armor. Um, <gasps> can remove the, the buff if you really need to. Oh, pierce the... It's not a kill. Should be, though. Oh, man. Oh, so the Banshee didn't die, die, but... Got pretty damn close. Oh, my God. So, we got some mana back. We got XP. We got Ectoplasm. Just some... What we randomly generate in the town. Uh, we can go into the graveyard. So we got XP back, and Bride of it Ratus is just ready to be used. So these are actually quite usable now. Uh, Banshee definitely needs a timeout. Yeah, I mean, these are just kind of leveling up there. I mean, it doesn't really do too much. Uh, can I get uh, some low souls here? Easy it is to deceive the living. So we can use the lost souls here to discover a random item in the lake of the dead. Also we can use the lost soul to gain extra rad, but I just kinda wanna discover an extra item in the lake of the dead. And of course we don't really wanna have someone high level. Spending their time here. Maybe we're just gonna craft some crappy minions. Like a zombie. <sighs> Seems to be the the common choice. They will be expecting cannon fodder, but I will give them cannons instead. <laughs> cannon zombies? So great. Uh well I guess she can heal too. Um, maybe he's gonna take a timeout. We got a Banshee. Lost Soul. What is the zombie? Oh, this is the perfect position to zombie. I like that. I, I need access to the dubious boon. Uh, engaging boom. Well, it's not a must, but it would be uh, an upgrade. Or we just don't take her and we're gonna go like this. And someone's gotta level up. Who's gonna do it? The Dark Knight is getting close to level 6. Can I unlock uh, a unit for level 6? I don't know. I think the Dark Knight can just stay out. Also, he needs a little bit of heal, so I'm maybe gonna go like that. There's nothing I can do right now. We need uh, more. Lost Souls. Uh, let's see what can we craft. Headhunter. If we take out another boss. Trigger Insanity in 80 enemies. Uh, apparently that's not happening. Vampire. Turn free enemies into vampires, and there is a a talent here that let me lets me do that. Enemy loses uh, twenty five luck until the battle ends. If they escape, Iratus receives a vampire after winning the battle. Yeah, I mean that's how you get vampires apparently. <laughs> but I kind of wanna up the artifact chance as well. I just wanna find more stuff, okay? Because I'm kind of struggling. It's not a massive difference, but like also getting vampires. Also, I'm a little foggy on the running away mechanic. So, yeah, that's that. But obviously, we need to get another talent point before we proceed. And it seems like we're gonna get access to this uh, after the next boss. So, let's just go into the dungeon. 
This either feels... Oh yeah, this can be used to gain mana or just uh, heal a minion. Do I really need to heal a minion? I don't know, I guess I'm gonna take mana here. Choose a battle squad, uh, not much of a choice. Do you want to take your one battle squad? I mean, I kind of expected more of a battle squad here, but I, I just constantly have this one squad, like ever rotating uh, members, uh, granted, but one squad. So here we can have one, two, three. Uh, we can do a sacrificial artar. I, I think we can uh, afford to do that. So we're going to have four into a mythical chest so five and i can just go this way so even more stuff to do actually it's pretty identical pretty similar but if i come this way it's gonna be five uh four and it's gonna be nine encounters before the final boss if i come this way it's gonna be five Plus five, so ten encounters before the final boss. And if I come uh, the other way, it's gonna be five plus seven encounters before the final boss, so twelve. I mean, that kind of matters, I think. So I'm just gonna go for the longest possible path. Actually, I'm still having the Dark Knight on the wrong position. <laughs> he should he should be like uh, starting over here or something. Oh man. We can hit the alchemist. We also have a bunch of mana now. Impale this wretch. Get him zombie. We can boost the zombie or Bride of Iratus. Like, they are both fine. Let's boost the zombie. Let's see what he does. He's gonna be fine. Oh, what the fuck is this? Heavy Fire Thrower? And a Geomancer? This is not cool. Set them on fire. All of them. Starting with the Alchemist, maybe? It's handy. Oh, we can slide back. Pretty nice. Uh, well, we can use a uh, fire. So he's gonna take a crap ton of damage. At least he's gonna take uh, 26 damage. At very least. Next turn. And this is not gonna be enough to kill him. But, I'm just thinking who we should slide in on. Is it gonna be the first guy? Or the second guy? Do I want to use a mocking slap? Maybe. Oh, maybe do an ineffable command. Loses all armor and resistances. Uh, that's a little annoying. I swear one time. I'm just gonna click the wrong button and we die. That's 20 damage at very least. But it's also gonna be a crit. So this should take out the alchemist. And we might be good against the fire thrower guy. Against, I mean, it's not gonna be good enough to take out the fire thrower. <laughs> But it's gonna be a pretty decent shot. It's gonna be 26 damage, so the alchemist dies. We gotta set fire to the first two guys now. Taking a lot of damage. Bride of Iratus is 
famous for just doing a lot of damage uh, than uh, kind of like taking a time out. So this is on fire. Uh, this is on fire as well. I just set them on fire and uh, we can just target the Bride of Iratus. Oh yeah, just heal on everybody. That's pretty good. So what do we have? This guy is gonna take 8 damage. It's not gonna be good enough. He's gonna take 8 damage. It's not gonna be good enough. But it does seem like I may have a, a way to kill kill someone here. Especially if this deals more than... I shouldn't be greedy, right? I definitely shouldn't be greedy. Within flame. So, ex especially if it's already almost guaranteed. Take them out. Oh my god! No, she's dead! She was really good! God damn it! Why would you do this? Uh, I'll not do that. Bowels just as it died. I don't know. It's a magic attack. This is a physical attack. It would be blocked. It's a miss too. It ignores the ward. Do a flaming thingy on it. My friend. That's uh, pretty good. Nine true damage. He's very close to dying. But I probably shouldn't dick around. If I just go for the regular attack, it's not gonna do jack shit. I'm gonna just defend it. Uh, maybe he's gonna I die to the flaming. Oh, actually, friend. that doesn't work. I just set him fire this way. That's good. Life. What the fuck? Yeah, rest in peace, uh, Biatch. <laughs> wow, she's dead again. I guess that way that zombie is just so much better. Uh, we got two level uppies here. We found a smoke bomb. <laughs> One time use. And we found some random crap too. Great. So the chance of finding artifacts is increased by 20%. Transformation, the will becomes free. Destruction, magic. Yeah, I kind of like the blood curse. Let's just try that. The leech just spamming ineffable command on a damage dealer. Uh, we also use this from time to time. We can get uh, some accuracy or magic uh, resistance. This gives us one extra ward. Uh, that's probably better. And ignores ward. And an ally in the first position. That's stupid. I don't like that. So this is the option for sure. Shard Swarm. We can get even more uh, health. We can get a little bit more attack. Eventually. But this is terrible. Kills an ally? Creates a cloud at a target position for two rounds. I mean, I might not be getting this because it's... It's not clear. What it does. Enemy poisoned by the cloud has a 3% chance to die immediately. Bosses are immune. Enemy, Any enemy in the cloud loses all armor and resistance. Holy shit, that's insane! That's for two rounds? Loses all armor and resistance? That's insane! 
Let's fucking do that. Like, the base one is just garbage, but this is really good. Ignition is not something I like. But corrosive cloud, all armor and resistance? What the fuck? 3% chance they instantly died. I mean, that, that seems pretty good, but like, this is, this is reliable stuff. Corrosive cloud. That's just crazy. I mean, come on, Lich, you're just being so stupid here. I, I don't know. Look at look at the skill selection here. Come on, sacrifice. I guess you can consider this when your about your ally is about to die anyway. And like just to, but this is so weird. No, <laughs> no, I don't like it. I, I like it in principle, but no, <laughs> I don't. I don't like it. Ignores ward. And we get an extra reward. I mean, that seems pretty good. So we go for corrosive cloud and shard swarm. My enemies. Okay, are in for but he needs to chill surprise. anyway. Oh, he, he's not gonna be the only one. Even on position three, uh, Bride of Iratus just takes way too much damage. Uh, can we craft something? We can craft a lost soul. Uh, can we just use regular racks for it? Because I just wanted to sacrifice. Easy it is to deceive the living. The lake. Just gonna be a sacrifice here. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can just make some zombies maybe. Maybe a zombie instead. Yeah, that, that's what I want. Just regular zombies. Doing regular zombie things. Uh, like uh, working. To give me some rats. Arena. It's fine. It's fine too. <laughs> okay. We need something else. We need someone else for the squad. Maybe these should come. Or... Wait, do I have a brain? I think we may have a brain. I also have some artifacts. Okay, we have a level 4 and level 3 brain. So... But I only have zombies. <laughs> I can only make zombies. Well, that's not true. Because I also have like a bunch of level 1s spread out. Uh, just working for me. Where's the zombie guy? Oh, he's working here. No, 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 you shouldn't be there. That's a zombie job. I know I called you a zombie guy, but no, 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 that's not your job. No, that's fine. That, that's great. No brain, but all firepower. Uh, I'll just put the zombie in here. So we can use this... Uh, very questionable <laughs> uh, build. Maybe like that. But I don't want to lose my Banshee like last time. Obviously, I'm kind of like testing things out. And this is, I, I think this is the fun way to play as well. Instead of like, even if I knew like some OP OP build, and you know, I, I would definitely put the Dark Knight as like, the, as like a top tier at this point. And uh, Bride of Iratus has top tier damage. And others can be useful. I'm just kind of learning at this point. And that's fun. And that's fun. Mortuary. Let's go back. Hey, mate. I'm not really using stress right now. I feel like that's uh, a little bit harder and less consistent to use. Uh, we're going to go to the dungeon. And the plan is just to take the longest path, fight the most dudes, and get ready for the boss fight. Right? And maybe get more units because I fucking need it. Maybe get some better spells because my spells suck. Or, I don't know, it feels like my spells suck. Do they suck? I don't know, it kind of feels like they suck, but you know... They, as far as I know, they are one of the best. 
I can make the zombies have more accuracy, attack, dread, and initiative. I mean, that seems like a pretty good way to... Yeah, I mean, just like, this is gonna make me like a full-time zombie lover there. I mean, I'm kind of using the best abilities, like 45 uh, physical damage. This is like 50 magic damage. This is 75 if they are debuffed. Uh, I can also pick pick up Hail of Thief, but you gotta keep keep in mind that, yeah, that's just like that's, we we have something else to do as well. Finding more stuff uh, is kind of good. I don't know. And we don't really need the brain. I just need resources. Most of all. I, I, I want the blood curse. Because apparently this gives me vampires after winning the battle. But we somehow have to make a guy get infected. Then somehow run away. It's not gonna be easy, <laughs> that's for sure. Banshee receives 2 attack, 5 evasion, and 2 initiative. Banshee re uh, rates receive 1 block and 1 ward. Wow, that's actually pretty damn good, because the rates are very tanky in the first place. I like the rates, but they just don't really fit right now. I don't know, maybe I'll just use them more eventually. But, I, I, as far as I know, I only have one rate alive. Oh, actually, we should uh, just uh, fill it to the brim. Uh, I'll just see what we got. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just put in the zombie. It's fine. We could use a level 5 zombie. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.